this question, Mr. Sito arranged the pupil into four equal groups of boys and five equal groups of girls. The number of girls was five more than the number of boys in each group. Then three over eight of the pupils were the boys. So question is that how many pupils altogether? Okay, so what we do now is that uh, for the boys and girls, for the boy, let's say now, um, four equal groups, right? So let's say each group we have X. So we have something like this. So all these are X, 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 X. So collectively, these are four X, right? Collectively four X. Then for the <laughs> girl side will be like this. Or the, we have five groups. At each group, we have uh, five more students than the boys. So uh, we'll end up like this, perhaps. So five group, one, two, three, four, five. Then each one is X plus five, right? Uh, all the way, all these just repeat until the last one, so X plus five. So collectively here, I think we have um, five X plus 25, am I right? Five X plus 25, so five X plus 25. Now, um, in fact, the this one, right, we can actually split to 4x plus x plus 25. So in other words, actually this part, uh, this one uh, will be x plus 25, am I right? This one is just x plus 25, right? Now, um, overall for the boys, right, occupy 3 over 8. Uh, so in fact, this is 3 over 8. Four, then this is uh, obviously 5 over 8. Uh, so the you will find the difference between over the girls uh, and then the boy. I think it's just simply so let me just shift it over a little bit first. Uh. Okay, so I think we just simply have the difference. Uh, the difference is actually the x plus 25, am I right? The difference is x plus 25. Then this one corresponding to, uh, if you, in terms of fraction, would be 5 over 8, the girls minus the boy 3 over 8. Now, this one should be 2 over 8 and end up 104. Are you okay? 104. So now, 104, uh, now it happens that um, both sides times 4, isn't that this will end up 4x plus 100, right? Then times 4, this one, but that means it's the 1. That means the total. Uh, yeah. Now, this is a very meaningful result because why? Because you notice that this 4x is this 4x. Okay. So plus the 100, you get the overall one. So isn't that this uh, plus the 100, uh, this 100 there, expect to be this. Do you agree? Expect to be this now, right? So in other words, uh, for the girls now, it's just simply 100. Okay. Can we conclude like this? Okay, right? For the girls now, just become 100. Now, um, boys and girls in a ratio of 3 to 5. So based on this ratio, I think the boys, you can easily compute this should be 60. Am I right? Uh, should be 60. So overall, they just asked for the total number of pupils there. So isn't that the final answer? Simply, we have both figures already. Just simply this 60 and 100 add together. So answer, therefore, is 160. 160.